we are back at it again. How long is it going to take me to get this box of the Flesh Eater Quartz Army from box to board? Let's find out. We have once more defended these realms in the name of the God King Sigmar. We sent those foul abominations back to their cold graves. Yet, there is something out there in the darkness. My men speak of a creature that lurks in the shadows. I fear this nightmare has not yet drawn to a close. So the concept of this video is slightly different from the last. The last one I set myself a 24 hour period non-consecutively. By the way, if you haven't checked that out already, it's gonna be, yeah, right up here. Instead, I wanted to see how long it would take me in a leisurely manner to get this box ready for a battle. That was the intent going into it. What I found in the last one was I was pushing myself to the point where I wasn't actually enjoying what I was doing. And that is the most important aspect of this hobby. It's supposed to be fun. So with this approach, I just wanted to see how long it would take me to paint these guys up to a standard that I was happy with. I just want to be very clear with this. I am not a brilliant painter. My models are fantastic to my eye. This is not a painting guide or anything like that. The point of this video really is hopefully giving you an insight into how much time you could realistically have to spend getting an army ready and onto the battlefield. Let's tuck in and see what this uh, Flesh Eater Quartz army set has to offer, shall we? Instructions. What I know about these guys is this is what they think they look like, when in actual fact, this is what they actually look like. So they're all a bit delusional. Uh, okay, oh, look at that, the gold. Uh, but for the most part, this is brand new range, which is pretty damn cool. Let's skip to the data card. So yeah, all the standard stuff. Some of the older models there. Big old Nagash. This dude who just looks incredible. Us Usharan or Ush Usharan? Yeah, Usharan, Usharan, Usher. New model, new model, new model. Not brand new, but newer. New model, new model, new model. Brand new, again, older models too. So there is a lot. These are the ones that are included in this as well, which I'm uh, looking forward to seeing. Amazing. The Flesh Eater Quartz Enhancement Cards. And then we have the War Scrolls as well. Absolutely solid box set. So cool. So we've got 20 of the ghouls, 20 of them. We've got the main character, the leader. We've got this creepy little fellow here. And then we've got the three like cavalry guy. I think I'm gonna probably start with the Vargulf courtier. Bainsey, which one do you think I should build first? Yeah, no, he agrees. So one of the first things I needed to do was obviously decide how I was going to paint these models. I knew that contrast was probably gonna be my best bet. So I took myself off with Janice and Ollie to Belfast to my local Warhammer store to pick up some paints. Who's the best boy? Is it you? Yeah. So we're going into town on the on a Saturday, obviously. Nice and busy. Got the boy with us. They always love him in the Warhammer store. Still trying to decide exactly what scheme I'm going to go with. So I think I'm going to need to get some primer, just make it easier. And then I need to find a technique or a scheme that's going to allow me to do it quickly because there's going to be 20 of them. So I think I'm just going to look at the paints and just decide what color I want the skins to be. Four hours, eight minutes, 14 seconds to build all of this box set. Really happy with that so far. Sorry, they've been all knocked around a little bit. I actually lost one of their loincloths, which is an absolutely tiny piece. And then I just found it when I set up. 20 of the boys, bat boys, the bat bear bar guys thing, I think it's called. Batman. I'm a bear. So next, it's gonna be the painting and today, I got this. I bought both of the contrasts. So the idea is prime, contrast, dry brush, or layer, because there's lots of them. And I need to make this as efficient as possible. I knew that a big part of this project was going to be enjoying the process. And a big part of that comes from seeing the models coming together very quickly, but also achieving a level of detail, which is easily repeatable, because when you've got 20 ghouls, yeah, it needs to, you need to have a recipe of some form. Next step is going to be painting the models up. I've already sprayed them all. So I've got to decide which ones I'm gonna paint first. Now I think I'm probably gonna go with this guy here, the uh, 
Bargolf courtier. So I've got the instructions here to kind of go off, but I think I'm just gonna have a bit of fun with this guy. I've left him off the base so I can get in underneath the stomach. <sighs> Let's go. As you can see, I decided to go with the model that I really wanted to paint up first, which was the Vargulf Courtier. Absolutely chilling model. Age of Sigmar, the, the sculpts, the models themselves are absolutely, oh, you know it's coming. Chef's Kiss, they are stunning models. They came out of left field. I did not expect a Flesh Eater Quartz army to be coming anytime soon. My friend Ian actually collected them way back in the day. And the one thing I did notice was their model range was lacking. They had some really cool models like the Zombie Dragon, but that was about it. They didn't have a, a great selection to choose from. When I got this, I was blown away by not only the concept of the Flesh Eater Quartz, because their actual lore is fascinating. These guys basically are completely delusional. They think they are the chivalrous knights, and yet they are the things of nightmares. All right, so we are just past the six hour mark. I'm now moving on to the ghouls. Definitely gonna have to insert the Charlie <laughs> clip right here. Uh, ghouls. Son of a bitch, what are you talking about yeah, now? funny little green ghouls got... So I'm working on the ghouls right now. The next thing I'm gonna do, the next step for these guys, I'm gonna dry brush them with this Ogryn camo. And then gonna dry brush them with the Powell Witch Flesh as well. So we'll see how that works. And uh, Ollie's enjoying his dinner anyway. So next, I decided to paint the troops. I knew this was gonna be the biggest section of this entire project. So I decided I was gonna mix the paints between the gray and the green because I could not make my mind up about which one I wanted to pick. So I picked a little bit of both. And as you can see, I think it looks phenomenal. I think the, the mix of tones is just, I love it. Next up, I wanted to paint up the leader. In the last challenge, I felt like I was a bit pressured to really get the models done without really enjoying the process of painting them up. The leader though, however, I knew I wanted to take time on him because he was such a gorgeous sculpt. The wings look so cool. Just the pose it's in, even the little details on the actual base itself, so cool. Next, we are on to the bats. Bat! Now these models, no, I keep saying this, I know I keep saying this, but these models are beautiful. Everything about them is so cool. The stories they tell on the actual models themselves. Whoever made the sculpts for these, double thumbs up, mate. They are absolutely stunning. So for some reason, I didn't get a shot of the final time that it took me to get this entire army painted up. So yeah, I'm having to add this in, in the edit. But here we go. Here's the entire Flesh Eater Quartz army done. Enjoy. So the Cities of Sigmar models are ready to defend their realms once more. They think they got the upper hand, but little do they know, the zombies were just the start of it. The Flesh Eater Courts are coming, and they are coming to rip and chew and nod everything they can get their teeth into. Do you think the Cities of Sigmar guys will hold out? Let me know in the comments. If you could hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. You don't ask, you don't get. My dad taught me that. So hit that subscribe button if you like content just like this. I really appreciate it. It really drives me to make more and more content of this nature. Drop a little comment in the comments below who you think is going to win between the Cities of Sigmar and the Flesh Eater Courts. Have a fantastic day. I'm out. Don't know what that was. I should, I should really have an outro. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye.